Hello my friends and family, Cooper here and welcome back to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. Last time we uh, discovered that we needed to defeat some mages, this time we're going to defeat some more mages. Today we'll be fighting the mountain shrine to fight the mountain mages because um, our twin-headed thunder dragon gets boosted by the mountain, you know, the mountain field. So yeah, let's take on this creepy red dude. Yeah, 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 sacred millennium item, you're protecting it, I get it Mr. Mage, let's fight. Uh, our deck has not changed at all since last time because I literally just woke up and uh, got started. So let's do it. We got a mountain field, of course, since we're on their territory. And we already got a twin headed thunder dragon. Lucky us. Uh, I don't know what the, these mages' decks usually have. I hope to god they don't have any super strong dragons or winged beast monsters because those are the two monsters that get a big boost from this field. Yay, okay, he didn't have anything that could beat us so far. We're gonna set down this acid trap hole just to, out of, uh, you know, just in case something bad happens. We don't know. He might have a- oh my god, he has Curse of Dragon. That's a really cool card. Uh, hopefully we can get one of those in our future, but winning good cards off of your opponent is unbelievably rare. And as you can see, it still hasn't happened to us. We'll set down a Labyrinth Wall just to bait him into attacking us and to see if, um, you know, if he ends up hurting himself. Hopefully he does. And another Curse of Dragon. Very interesting card, Mage. I love dragon cards. They're really cool. They fuse with everything. So let's see what you got for us. Are you going to attack this time? No? You're afraid still? Yeah, he's a coward. Let's summon a... We'll do this. With this. With this. Even though this monster is just going to get destroyed next turn, it will uh, be useful for our team because we can use it to, uh, you know, to take down some of his cards. So, we're gonna attack with this monster, just in case. Okay, that was a weak monster, a thunder monster. Uh, also getting powered up by this mountain field. So, I don't know what to expect from this guy's deck. I was expecting a little bit more from this mage. Uh, hopefully he throws a cool monster at us. And... Acid Trap Hole says... N oh my god, Dark Fire Dragon? Come on, even we have that card. That's, that's not too hard of a card to win. Let's send it to Umi, just to be funny. I know we're not going to win this turn because of it, but who cares? I just want to uh, bully this guy a little bit. Or do we win exactly? Never mind. <laughs> I thought I screwed us over for a second there, but nope. We got a perfect victory off that guy. Hopefully we get an S rank. I don't know why we wouldn't, but who cares? Uh, B rank? What the hell did I do wrong? Eh, whatever. He gave us a useless card that we still use in our deck, but whatever. Now, again, you cannot save after beating the, ma uh, the mage at the front door. You must go in and fight again, and or you'll have to fight that guy again. This is the Protector of the Mountains, Atenza. High Mage Atenza. The Millennium item you speak is under my protection. If you wish to have it, you must face the wrath of my mighty mountain deck. Yes, and you are also fighting my mountain deck, so let's see what you got. Even though I use Umi, so whatever. We still get a power up for mountain, that's all that's important. Let's just take this guy down and continue on our way, because I want to I wanna beat this guy so I can save the game. That's like the scariest thing as a kid, is not being able to save the game. Uh, what we'll do... We'll do rock with... Dragon, rock... No. No. We'll do dragon, dragon, rock, plant. Yes, this is what we'll do. This should make black dra uh, stone D, and then this should make... Dragon Jungle King. And we'll hope to God that Dragon Jungle King can hold off whatever he sends out. The little mage couldn't do much, but this guy, I don't know. This guy might just have a twin head just for fun. So, oh shit. Oh, whoa, he has a thousand dragon. That's freaking awesome. I love thousand dragon. Okay, I don't love this hand though. We are getting our asses beat by our, our, lucky, our unlucky draws. So let's set down Ass Trap Hole to uh, stall for one turn. Oh, that card should be banned. That's stupid. No! And now he just gets a free attack with his awesome thou th Thousand Dragon. So, we might lose. This will be our first loss, and that would be really sad. But, life happens, so, you know. We'll get over it. Uh, let's do it like this and see what we get. Uh-oh, I screwed up. And we'll set him in defense, and hopefully by living one turn we can draw a Thunder Monster. So... Let's see what his other monster is. Thousand Dragon and... Harpy... Oh, cool! He has the Harpy Lady Sisters. That's really cool. Um, very threatening cards for our deck. We don't know... We can't survive on our turn. It's up to our draw. 
And we might be able to pull this off. I don't know for sure. But if we do dragon... I know 3,000 defense is enough, but just in case he summons something else. If we do all three of these together, we should get a 3,100 attack point monster. Uh, that did not make what I thought it was going to make. Fuck. Uh, do we at least have a star? He, we're weak to this one, strong against this one? Okay. Let's attack this one. So, and if he summons a monster next turn, we lose. Very unlucky that we lost. Uh, I know I could have just sent Labyrinth Wall down, but I was arrogant. So, whoa, he set it in defense mode. Do we even survive the attack? 1100, did, how many life points do we have left? Holy crap, he let us live for one turn. And we can make a Thunder Dragon. We'll, uh, th Labyrinth Wall, Black Land, and then Oscillo Hero. Holy shit, we might still be in this, people. He gave us one last chance to make up for our mistakes. Thunder Dragon! Okay, so, I've never been this low on life points. Well, once against Pegasus, but I've never been this low. I'm a little bit scared. Obviously, the boss, or the high mages have cards like Raigeki and Her Fair, uh, Harpy's Feather Dusters, so we could still be, you know, in a bad situation here. But uh, I feel much better. I feel a lot safer right now, which is important. And we can make another one. How, how nice is that? Two Twin-Headed Thunder Dragons. Uh, we'll do both of the signs just in case he summons something that can, you know, defend himself against us. And right now he has nothing, so let's attack him. Queen Bird, good defense, but not enough for us. And Twin Head Thunder Dragon destroys this Sky Dragon. Alright, cool. Whew, okay, this duel's still stressful. He could just play a spell card and end it all. Like, you know, uh, what do they call that? Ukazi or something? The ones that do direct damage, they, those do exist in this game. So that would really suck. Uh, how much attack does this card have? Is it, it, is it safe enough to put in attack mode, is what I'm thinking. Because if we take 300 damage, that's game. You know what, just in case he has his own twin head, maybe I'll keep her in defense mode. Because what he's summoning right now, it's nothing. It's nothing scary. But we can't take any risks, because if we take 300 damage, it's over. We could have won if we would just played it safe. So we will play it safe, and we'll hope to God that this works. So, yeah. He didn't even attack it, that's weird. Um, play this trap card, just in case, you never know. And I guess we won, unless this guy somehow beats us. Oh, what the heck, that was a weak monster. He gave up! He let us live and then he gave up. That's the most amazing thing that ever happened. Holy crap, that was super lucky. Oh, okay, <laughs> I was really stressed out there for a second. I did not want to lose on camera. So let's see what we got. Queen Bird, we got his Queen Bird, cool. Powerful monster, not really for my deck, I'm not going to use it, but uh, still cool. How could this be? Me defeated. Yep, we defeated you. So we got the Millennium Ring from this guy, that's pretty cool. And that's two Millennium items, let's go save obviously, because every battle now is going to be extremely hard. We will no longer get a boost from the field that we are on, and uh, they will be getting a boost, which uh, that's unbelievably stressful. So, let's see, what kind of cards do I have? Obviously, you could just make a whole new deck, but on but 2,800 attack points usually is the most you can make, even if you did get the 500 point boost, so I say we just keep our normal cards and we go to, uh, uh, we'll try the Desert Shrine. Desert doesn't seem too dangerous. Uh, hopefully we don't get our first loss in this video, but if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen on a bad field. You've kept me waiting long enough. The Millennium Items are the source of our mystic power, and will remain so. They shall never be yours. This Desert Shrine should- yes, yes, yes. So this will be our test. If we can beat this guy, then we should probably beat the leader. Unless, you know, well, we can maybe beat the leader. Um, but if we can't even beat this guy, then we have a lot of training to do. Off screen, I won't make you guys watch. It's boring to watch free duels. Uh, holy crap, we already got our best monster, so let's see. Zombies are also good. Ooh, I have some good zombies I can create. Let's see if 2,800 attack points is enough. We're just going to keep him in attack mode and see what uh, the Desert Shrine has. Because if he summons a monster with 2,300 attack, then he can beat us. Oh, he had the guard. Okay, the only reason he could beat us was because of the Guardian Star. So maybe, maybe we aren't in too much danger. Because we could try this again. We'll just do this. And this time we'll just change the Guardian Star. 
and uh, see. Oh, wow, Stone D gets 2,500, 2,800. That's really good to remember. We'll do the moon. The moon should be fine. Yes, okay, good. Practical is a really cool card. It's a normally a fusion monster in the game. It's something like Fire Viper and uh, uh, Trachodon, I think, make that card. I, I don't really remember. Ooh, we'll change it to Umi. And then uh, once we change the field to Umi, then I think we won. Hopefully. Let's see. Yeah, I think all of his monsters depend on the field being Wasteland for them to be powerful. Because Oh, okay. No, this is good, because now we just get to attack him for free. You use a spell card, that's your whole turn. Oh, and we get a power boost to this, that's really cool. So, I say none of these cards fuse, so we'll have a defensive monster. If he feels like attacking it, that's his fault. And using this turn, we will try to win the duel. But now we know, thanks to this guy training us, that we don't want to make our guy Pluto. We want to make him Moon. That way only Sun can beat him. Alright, let's see. Oh, I guess we can make Dragon Zombie. That'd be kind of cool. Dragon Zombie equals uh, 2100 attack. That's not good, but it'll do. So we want Moon, not Pluto, just like I was just saying. Uh, we'll have you attack you. And Oh, he had Crawling Dragon number two. Very nice, very nice card. And we'll attack you directly for 2100 attack. And we're good. So this duel's going a little bit better than I thought it would. Whenever you fight on a field that isn't beneficial to you, but it is beneficial to your opponent, then uh, you might as well expect to lose. But so far, so good. A lot's, a lot's, uh, it's a lot less scary than our last duel. Ooh, I wonder if uh, the Mystical Sand is powerful on this field. It has to be. Yeah, look at that. We already have a good card just right there. So does Mercury beat you? No. Well, then we'll just use... What? No. We'll just use Twin Hit Thunder Dragon. Just because. No real reason to, just because. And then we'll use our Mystical Sand to win the duel. Alright, we already took down three mages, two regulars and one high. Although this one might not be taken down if we don't beat his boss. Okay, the Watcher of the Wind is a terrible card, whatever. We'll leave it alone. No, I cannot lose. Not like this. Yeah, yeah, get out of here. So obviously we can't save, we have to just keep moving forward. And let's see how this guy looks. Yeah, that's... That's about what I was expecting. What's up, Martis? Martis is the most normal name so far. Still not normal, but, you know. He's a guy. Desert. I wonder what cards he's gonna have. What's a strong rock monster that you could just summon? I guess he might just have, like, Stone D, Mystical Sand. Just, like, as normal cards, not even fusions. Uh, Pumpkin King, of course. You gotta have those zombies. Uh, we didn't get a single dragon, even in our deck. I guess we can summon Mystical Sand, but let's throw away some cards first. So this, 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 this. Oh, they make something? Oh, Flame Servers. Okay, good. We can throw that away. And Mystical Sand. Mercury should be safe. Maybe we'll try Saturn just to see. I don't know what Saturn loses to or beats, but we'll try it. Hopefully that doesn't cost us the duel. Hopefully his monsters aren't unbelievably strong. Okay, cool. I feel a little bit safer. And we already got Thunder Dragon, so that's nice. Maybe this guy won't be as strong as uh, we once thought. Obviously, we'll make Thunder Dragon Moon, as uh, we were taught to do by the last guy, the previous Sage. And we'll attack and see if we can beat it. Oh, cool! He had Bickery Box. That's a really nice monster. It doesn't get powered up by Wasteland, though. I think that's a Fiend. That's a Yami Field that you need. So, what, uh... Or, Dark Field. So, what, uh, do you got? Nothing. Wow. Although, he just summoned a Sun Monster, which I thought... We wouldn't have, but let's see what we do with another Thunder Dragon. And we won't make this one move just so that we don't get the weakness. Or does Mystical Sand have a boost on it? No? Okay, well, we'll do this. Just make it safe. Oh, Love Judge Man, even though he does not get a power boost from... Why are you using all these cards that don't get a power boost from Wasteland? What are you? Oh, we just won! We just beat the High Mage! This is gonna be the shortest episode ever, just because these guys were jokes. What the hell is going on? It's like, yeah, you can fight more. No! We just beat four guys. I don't know why it was so easy. And we got an S rank against the strongest desert mage, high mage. What the hell is going on? Okay, what do we get from you? Any cool items? The Millennium Scales. All right. That's interesting design. So let's go back and save. And uh, that was it, everybody. We beat two more high mages. We just need to do forest and uh, sojin. What's that one called? Uh, Meadow, which obviously those are going to be very hard ones. They, um, they're the hardest. That's why I left them for last. So we'll see you next time. Thank you all for watching and uh, goodbye.